delicious seafood taste. Well, we'll see about that. Today I'm gonna make plant-based tuna with black pepper. This is the Sophie's brand and I got this jar on Thrive Market. It was sort of an impulse purchase. I'm not, I wasn't when I ate it a huge fan of tuna, but I am gonna try to make tuna fish today and we're gonna give it a taste test and see how it goes. Also, while we're making this, uh, we're gonna be using a plant-based tuna, which is canned, but if you don't want to use one of the seafood alternatives, you can swap out and use garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Just drain them, rinse them, and mash them, and then combine it with your usual tuna fish or whatever the recipe is. can and we're gonna taste test it plain before we add it to the uh, tuna salad that we're making I'm just gonna pop open the can and I have to preface this with it's been a really long time since I actually opened a can of tuna so I have no idea what it's supposed to look like but I'm pretty sure it's not that <laughs> okay um, let me get a fork So we're gonna taste this, like I said, by itself, and then I have a helper here who's gonna taste test it too. All right. Again, long time since I tried this. <laughs> it's not bad. I think it's gonna be better in the tuna salad. I don't think I would eat this plain. So off camera, tell me what you think. I got a thumbs up. mixed up celery garlic old bay some pickles I thought that'd be kind of fun so I'm gonna give it a second taste test now that we've got all these other yummy ingredients with it and then we are going to actually make a tuna melt and I will show you how to do that I have chow cheese and some whole wheat bread and we are gonna make ourselves a little tuna melt and see how that all goes together so we're gonna see how many miles we can get out of this jar of tuna Now this is really good. Okay, while the plant-based tuna sits in the fridge before we make a melt out of it, I wanted to also share a few other reasons why I wanted to do this particular taste test. My fantastic, uh, you know, co-founder co Jules is usually the taste test um, master, but I really wanted to do this one. Um, for those that don't know, I grew up in Baltimore. I am from the East Coast originally. I have spent summers at the beach for as long as I can remember. Um, you know, I grew up eating crabs and shrimp and tons of seafood as most people on the East Coast and probably West Coast do as well. Um, it just becomes part of your everyday. I recently watched the documentary Sea Spiracy. It's available on Netflix. And obviously for years I have not eaten seafood because I've been vegan for a number of years. But even before that I was vegetarian and I was still eating seafood. I had no idea the volume of destruction that we are causing to the sea. And then of course the ripple effect of that of what it causes to the rest of the planet. Um, there are tons of seafood alternatives. There's this, this Sophie's brand that I just tried you can swap out and use chickpeas. There are so many different things that we can be eating. Um, you know, moving to more of a plant-based life and plant-based way of eating is only good for you, the planet, sea life, land animals, everybody on this planet would benefit from it. Um, I definitely encourage you to check it out. Moment of 
truth, we have our tuna melt <clears throat> with Sophie's plant-based tuna with black pepper. And I used chow cheese on the melt. So I am going to take a bite of this and see how it goes with hopefully not making a big old mess. <laughs> I think that's a really good sandwich. We had to make some adjustments along the way. Making the tuna into a tuna salad for sure made it taste really good. I still wouldn't say it tastes like tuna fish, but it tastes really good. So it's an awesome option for a cruelty-free sandwich.